Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. Voila. We continue on with our rogue. That is... Sal found... Let's just hand in these quests. It's Sal found also... No groups allowed. So we're not going to do any dungeons or any group quests or anything like that. This is just our character. Leveling to 60. I don't know what we're going to do at 60, guys. Like, we have to raid, right? And I haven't done any raids at 60, so... May Alun walk with you, adventurer. The Temple of the Moon has come to help the troubled citizens of Oberdeen. Another discovery. Well done, adventurer. These remains will be properly studied once they get to Darnassus. Please accept this small honorarium in exchange for the remains you have provided for our study. I have heard of the kinds of carriages found on the back of the turtle you found. Those, I do believe, are Naga carriages, used both in battle and in transportation of their supplies onto land. The markings on the box you found are of the Naga. This would explain their invasive presence in far northern Darkshore. I will send this box to Darnassus along with the rest of your discoveries. This is for you. Thank you again for your assistance. You have done Oberdeen a great service, adventurer, but your task is not yet complete. Return to me once you have rested, and adventurer, prepare your mind and soul for more bloodshed. The survival of our people and lands comes at unfortunate costs, adventurer. You have spilled the blood of nature's servants. Many sick animals you have felled. The people of Oberdeen are indebted to you, for the forest's pain is eased, even if only for a moment. I have one final task for you, but be warned, you will have to kill again. It is my hope that this will be the last time I call upon you, adventurer. In a cave to the northeast near Bashalaran resides the Den Mother. Slay her. You've done us here in Oberdeen a great service, lass. We'll make sure that their effects are properly taken care of. As for you, please have this. It is the least I can do for someone with the bravery to set things right. You guys need to let me know in the comment section below, like, what do we do at 60? If no groups allowed, what then? I think uh, at 60 it has to change, right? Well, we can stay self-found, maybe. But... Uh... But, uh, <laughs> but then we'll have to be able to do group stuff then. Otherwise, that's it for the character. I don't think you can get much stronger at 60 solo. Oh. What could I possibly owe the exceedingly special honor of a person such as yourself as company? Truly, it says much of my current companions, with no offense to my hosts, the noble Grells and Satyrs, that your presence could be considered an improvement. But please do not let my uncivil tongue drive you from the place. It has indeed been many years, decades even, since I had civil accompaniment. If I were to relate the story of my life, I have no doubt it would surpass the limits of your patience. Let us say that mine has been a long and painful life, and this spectral form is perhaps the worst torment of all. I am held here by the means of magic. Though my words may seem disingenuous, I assure you I would be grateful beyond words if you would help me find the means of my imprisonment. A seal binds me. And by examining the earpieces of the sprites and grells, I may find a trace of it. We are so strong, dude. We're fighting greys and like greens, so... Makes sense that we look strong. Got two, two out of eight.
four out of eight. It's pretty fast. Five out of eight. Wow. We're like speed running, dude. But yeah, right now we're gonna go all into parry, and then we're going to take repost. So repost is we're gonna disarm the enemy. So repost is like pretty funny because like majority of the enemies you do fight doesn't necessarily have a weapon in their hand. So it's mainly just like humanoids that this will work against. We need one more. It's funny that these guys run away, but the others didn't even try. Indeed, the Grells of Bashal Aran do not possess that which I am searching. However, they have come into contact with it recently. Recently. I would reckon that by your time, not mine. Recent for me stretches into the veil of the past, almost another age. If the Grells have come into close contact with the seal that binds my eternal prison, I suspect I know the cause. No doubt the seal has come into the possession of the satyr that lead them. I feel strongly that this must be true, adventurer. One of the satyr must surely possess it. If you can obtain it, you would bring me so close to passing the bars of my prison that tears would come to my eyes. It, it is hard for me to even believe that what I hold now is that which has held me for so long. Let us waste no time, adventurer. When the seal is destroyed, I might walk the forests of the earth freely again. It was the craft of one of the most powerful of the highborn that created the seal that formed my prison. In Amitharan, the ruins to the south that are twin to these persists even today an ancient flame, blue in color. In this flame, this seal could be destroyed. Be wary in the ruins, adventurer. You be wary in the ruins. We could just keep kill and uh, and skin. That I used to know. Destroy the seal of the ancient flame. That's a quest we're gonna do right now. Uh, loot them for their small eggs. You'll level cooking. Uh, to 10 after using small eggs. Farm small eggs. Wait, where do we get small eggs then? From these guys? I mean, my cooking is pretty high already, isn't it? We just pulled like everything.
Yeah, they give small eggs. Um, my cooking is like 75 already, dude. So... The level you're cooking to 10 after. Uh, no thanks. I mean, the small eggs for me right now is green. So yeah, it doesn't make sense for me to actually farm the, the cooking stuff now. Yeah, we got new feet. Might not actually use it though. Because uh, the ones I have on right now has 8 armor. Uh, it gives the same exact armor though. We have six uh, back slots available. Five. Okay, I think we're gonna do the ghost stuff now. find the ruins of Ameth Aran. It is now inhabited by the restless spirits of the Highborn that once dwelt within its walls, but once it was a place where the servants of Ajara freely practiced their powerful magics. I was sent to explore the ruins and came across two large tablets scrawled with the stories of Ameth Aran and its fall. While I read the runes, I was accosted by the spirits and fled. Please, if you can, Venture to the ruins and decipher the tablets in my place. I think I kicked it, but never mind. Stop dodging my brain, just accept my dagger up your ass. There we go, kick that face. Costing stuff. Stop it. No one wants you to cost stuff, okay? Not even your mother. That's why you're a ghost. Oh. 
Good commentary, bro. Thank you. I'll be here all week. All week, dude. Alrighty then, so now we just gotta find the uh, the one that's neutral. And we'll be all Gucci. She's not spawned. Where is she? Ah, oh, she's up. Come here, bitch. Accept my dagger. Job's done. We need two more. Come on, give it to me. I know you want to. Uh, that's where I took sod. No, 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 kick it, kick it. Goodness, finally we're getting some. We need one more.
Thank goodness. That took a little bit longer than it should have, in my opinions. We have few records from the time around the War of the Ancients, especially near the destruction of the Well of Eternity. Given the upheaval and cataclysmic events that were taking place, it is no big surprise. Thank you, adventurer. With your help, my work here is finished, and I will be able to deliver a full report to the Circle. What do we do here? Oh, we have to kill these guys? Good. Don't want you to reduce my armor. Thank you. My armor is perfectly fine as it is. Okay, good. What the heck? Oh, it's the fire next to us. Sounds like someone's costing the whole time, dude. skin them now. Kick it, kick it, kick him in the mouth, bro. You don't cast against me, son. No, no, uh, couldn't. That what? We don't have a debuff. I'm gonna use gouge the whole time. I just uh, I don't have energy for it. Don't stop. Buddy, see, I thought so. So one minute debuff, armor is reduced by three minutes, uh, three hundred. That's like literally all my armor. Isn't that cheating? I still have to change the cost bar to show which ones is kickable. Because if something is unkickable, I can I can gouge it, right? 
and not waste the kick energy. What's this? A bananas. Everybody got time for bananas, dude. Unless it's Soraka from Team Fight Tactics or League of Legends, you know what I'm saying? Then we have time for bananas. Because they never see the banana coming. Let's be honest here. Tick tock. We don't want the small egg, dude. Get that out of the inventory. We actually caused this for spirit. Kick that heal, dude. Ain't nobody gonna heal. Only me. If I feel like it. With my first aid. <laughs> I assume we're going to use Hoth to get back. On the concrete. We have insane spirit right now. Spirit and stamina increased. 25% of level. 17. Let's say we're 20. Then it's 5. That's actually a lot, dude. If I'm not mistaken, we gotta be inside this thing. So... I think we gotta be at the... Lower end. Hmm. Level fourteen. Could be triple pulled. Couldn't I could. Yeah, there's no running against them. We don't have first aid, so I can't gouge first aid. Oh my goodness, not even close. Oh, dude. Not even close. Yeah, it's not the headpiece. Uh, let's just eat again.
Okay, food buff us up. Don't we just hearth back? Well, doesn't seem like it. Bro, that was really close. Not gonna lie, that was really close. They had no first aid. So we couldn't gouge first aid. I was hoping it would run, though. And I should have just used my bigger potion, but... I thought I could save it. I didn't know you could get skinning from fish, from fishing. This guy is like, how do I get fish? Sorry, how do I get skinning or, or leather? You need two light leather. But he's playing self found, so how can you do that? People say you can do it with fishing? I never knew. I never fish, though. Like, I think it's the most boring profession on... On retail, I think it's archaeology, if I'm not mistaken. That that is just so bad as well. We have we have so much leather at the moment. Like I'm pretty sure we can make like really good gear now. We can most probably go up to like close to 85, maybe even 90. With our skinning or leather working. And that's gonna be close to making medium leather. Hi there, I'm Gubba Blump. I love crab. Crabs are the fruit of the sea. You can bake it, barbecue it, boil it and broil it. They're pan fried, deep fried and stir fried. There's crab salad, crab soup, crab stew, pepper crab, lemon crab, whipper root crab and iron forge surprise crab. That's, that's about it. I'm here fishing right now so I can't get any fine crab chunks. You can pick them out of reef crawlers and encrusted tide crawlers. You can make a lot with it. You can bake it, barbecue it, boil it. I love fishing. The Blump family is known for fishing. My name is Gubba Blump. I fish. There's a kind of fish I like to catch around these parts called Dark Shore Grouper. I used to go out on a boat to fish for grouper, but no boats have been going out since them mean old murlocs moved in. I bet they've been eating up all the grouper too. Say, you want to help me catch Dark Shore Grouper? I'd give you a bona fide Blump family fishing pole if you did. It's a real good pole to catch fish with. Another discovery for us to research. Well done, adventurer. These remains will be properly studied once they get to Darnassus. Please accept this small honorarium in exchange for the remains you have provided for our study. Ah, I believe you discovered one that was originally being examined by the Explorers League. They have a presence here in Darkshore, and they had mentioned that they were studying one of the beached creatures until they were chased out by the Murlocs. You appear to have succeeded where we both have not. Please, accept this honorarium on behalf of the Temple of the Moon. Thank you, adventurer. Perhaps it would have been better if I had done it myself. But even after these thousands of years, I couldn't bear to raise my hand against my beloved. Please, I would be alone with my grief. We find the boat is here. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Yeah, let's get on it. Okay, we're on the other side. How generous. 
Can't really use it though. Okay, we're gonna do a lot of stuff here. We're gonna do cooking. We're gonna do... Can I even do cooking? Yeah, we can do cooking. Uh, we're gonna do our leatherworking stuff. Um, we'll clear out this inventory because it looks like a mess. I think the cooking trainer is here somewhere. And leatherworking is deeper in, but it's, it's closer by. Trainer claw spells. I remember I struggled to find it, but it's inside this cave here. We also have a quest. Young rogue, what do you seek? Eviscerate three, backstab, faint. Performs a faint, causing no damage, but lowering your threat. Small amount making uh, the enemy less likely to attack you. It costs 20 energy. We can uh, do lockpicking now. That's great. Eviscerate three. Uh, faint would be great, though. But only for raiding, which we're not going to do anytime soon. Take the purple portal back. Greetings, young rogue. What do you seek? Word of your deeds has spread far and wide, adventurer. So far, in fact, that Stormwind Intelligence has asked for you by name. The journey is taxing and not without peril, but an opportunity to train under SI-7 should not be taken lightly. A new world awaits you, adventurer. Make your way to Old Town in Stormwind and speak with Renzik the Shiv at SI-7 headquarters. It doesn't show that it's complete, right? Yeah, it's not complete. So we're going to drop this quest, unfortunately. I think... I think it's um, a stronger weapon than what we have. Because it gives two agility. Um, let's see where this cooking trainer is. I will keep it for now. We'll abandon it later if we have to. Cooking trainer. Cooking supply. Okay, let me try my cooking a bit. Okay, cooking is done. Leather working is also here somewhere. Leather working supplies up there. Darnassus, especially we craftsmen, are quite busy. Young adventurers are eager to test themselves in the wilderness and are in constant need of supplies. If you can help me fill my orders of leather goods, then perhaps I can teach you an advanced leatherworking technique. Okay, what do we make here? The gloves. We're gonna spam the gloves. Till next we meet. Feel. I regret to say that I cannot aid you, gentle lady, until you learn more of working with leather. Speak with Faldron or Dariana here instead. They can teach you the skill you require. Many animals lost their lives so that we could gain these materials. Do not take their sacrifice lightly, adventurer. Handle the leather with the respect it deserves. 
That's such a big chest, dude. May the stars guide you. Feel free to browse. We'll craft us. Dude, it's 16 silver we get for it, dude. That's crazy. I uh, can't do that, it's too expensive. Um, we get a lot of gold also for this, so... While it's yellow. Big chance you'll get uh, one skill point per. And we did. Many animals lost their lives so that we could gain these materials. Do not take their sacrifice lightly, adventurer. So it's at a hundred. With the respect it deserves. Be careful. What so we can only make two more. Well, one more, actually. And then I would like to make one. One armor, and we'll put it on the chest. Good luck, friend. So that's an absolute beast of a chest piece now. Okay, so we can just sell this. I am honored. I think we can use this for other stuff. For some more cooking, if I'm not mistaken. For now, whatever. Doesn't matter. Our cooking is pretty high for our level. Okay, inventory I think is somewhat sorted. Also, at the same time. What brings you... The grace with which I fight is not something I can teach you, but I can teach you the use of various weapons. Good luck, friend. We can get a bow or a gun that gives agility. I would like to equip it, you know? Alright, so we're gonna just head back now. We're gonna fly back from... Instead of... Yeah, we're going to fly back. So we'll have the flight point also. Dude, I think we are as strong as we could be at this very moment. Thanks to that chest piece, right? Obviously, there's a dagger that we could have gotten for doing a rogue quest, but... Other than that, I feel like we are absolutely strong. I feel strong, let's just say that. Yeah, total armor right now is 400. So the fairy thing, we're reducing our armor by 360. That's literally all our armor. What brings to maintain our link to the mainland? We have hippogriffs constantly flying between Ritharan village and Darkshore. I also made uh, heavy learn bandages there. Off recording so that uh, we'll just be ready next time. Absolutely mandatory to have. We also need to get more apples from the Halloween event. We can also trick, and tr trick or treat, right? That would be great. So five here, one here. I don't know what we're going to take afterwards, though. In my opinion, it should be hit chance and then offhand damage. But they might say this. Reducing the, the sprint and evasion cooldowns, which could be insane. Why do you reduce it by a minute and a half? Which I think is really, really good until you get a mount at least.
a hundred percent chance to remove all. Hmm. But it doesn't prevent it from happening, so they could just cast it again afterwards. <laughs> Peace. Be it's no surprise how tainted this water is, but just look at how putrid it is becoming. It would seem that action is needed sooner than later, eh, adventurer? To our east is Fellwood. It is the real source of this corruption, one that I have seen in times past. I predict this sample will confirm this. We might be able to enact a cure for it here, but in order to even try, we will need assistance. When that time comes, adventurer, I hope you will be able to give the aid we need. Though it is surely a figment of my imagination, I feel as though I can almost feel the taint of foul, highborn magic upon them. I will have these destroyed, so that their long, dormant evil might never be released again. We've learned that a source of furbolg corruption is from the satyr. They hold sway via talismans that they channel magic through. If the furbolg have a chance at salvation, we must lure out the satyr corruptor and take that talisman. Fill this bowl at our moonwell and take samples of the furbolg's food from their northern camp. Mix them and place it near the bonfire by the river. Any furbolgs who eat will be cleansed just long enough to lure out the satyr corruptor. Who then you must slay. So the crystal exists, adventurer? Fascinating. Anyway, your task has been well executed. Good work. What exactly is this crystal? This is but a single question in a sea of questions. Another question that comes to mind is why the Moonkin would be drawn to this object? Is the crystal benign in nature or does it hold a more sinister purpose? I have many more questions, but we're going to need to examine that crystal closely to get some answers. Use this empty vial and fill up on some moonwell water here in Aberdeen. Such potent magic should provide a clue as to the composition of the crystal. To do that, you'll pour the liquid over the crystal. It should take care of the rest. While I don't anticipate anything bad happening to you, I still want you to be careful. Above us, to the east, is Fellwood. If that crystal is tied to that place as I suspect it is, then it could prove to be very dangerous. Wash the blood from your garments, adventurer. And do not mourn what you had to do. Instead, give thanks. You have lessened the threat to our people here in Oberdeen, even if Darkshore is still in jeopardy from the effects of Fell Moss. Adventurer, your skills have already helped me in my endeavor. Could I impose on you again to help Grimclaw and his master Volcor? In addition, I can craft you a magical cloak that will allow you to walk unhindered by Darkshore's creatures while you look for him. To create the cloak, I'll need five fine Moonstalker pelts from a Moonstalker sire or matriarch to have enough material. The cats can be found near Wild Bend River to the south, or even farther south near Ashenvale. Hail, young person. I am Alyssa Starbreeze, and it is my charge to protect Oberdeen from harm. To this end, I sent Balthuel Shadowstrike to observe the strange happenings around the Tower of Alpha Lax to the northeast. It is past time that he should have returned. I worry that he has encountered some unforeseen danger in the forest. I would be most appreciative if you would find him and see that he is doing well. Goodness, there's a lot of dialogue, dude. And why do I need a cloak? 
I just I can go inverse. I'm a rogue, dude. Goodness. I feel like that's the chess piece at work there. All that stamina. Oh, sorry. All that uh, agility. The crit and hit rate is pretty insane right now. I am freed, adventurer. I can now see with my own eyes the changes that have come to our world. Only bits and pieces have I known. To think that when I last walked freely, the well still stood and the highborn held court with Ajara, our beloved queen. I sense that my jailer, my former master, Athricus, still lives. Already, my feelings of hopelessness will give way into thoughts of vengeance. Moonstalker Pulse, that quest requires level 20. Not cool, man. Not cool, man. So I assume we're not going to do it right now. Most probably we'll come back to it. Uh, our quest log is 15 out of 20. We gotta get crabs. That could help us in cooking also, that's great. Dude, it seems like we're running barefoot, man. We need better, better shoes, honestly. Ooh, two X leather. Well, don't mind if I do. Looking for a chest in Westfall. Dude, people told you to do fishing and he's like, okay, I'm gonna go for chests. Pump it hard. Elissa sent you. Then it is good tidings you bring. I have troubling news to report to her and had no means with which to deliver it. A group of warlocks has taken up residence around and inside the tower. I would have returned to Aubrey to report to Alyssa earlier, but I was afraid that I might miss something while I was away. Delgren suspected such a company might be gathering at the tower, but did not know why. A few scraps of parchment that the warlocks carry have found their way to my hands. But I need more to complete the puzzle. I warn you not to venture into the tower, however. The warlocks there are much more powerful. How are we this week, dude? This thing chunked me so much. Right? We have dodge and parry chance. And it's, we're still getting chunked. I, I didn't kick in time. 20% chance to heal.
And the dude, they're a level lower than us. Could you stop trying to get behind me? Let's get our food buff. We didn't get the uh, the apples when we went back. Oh, there we go. But even that was crits. Doesn't seem like we're doing a lot of damage. It's because we're used to like fighting low level stuff. Green and gray. Now that we're fighting on level, it seems like it's the game is way harder. How many times have I healed him already? some armor here. The, that we can't use, obviously. We also got a green one from this already. cheese, dude. Don't mind me taking 10 minutes to eat the cheese. the fuck? He's still costing. Level 17. Okay, I thought he might have been a higher level. Could have killed him also. Kick it in time. So I think it's unkickable.
The requirement for this quest is 18. Or level 17. Could explain why. Feels like we're getting chunked. Many thanks, Adventurer. This should shed some light on this Warlock's gathering. Hmm. The Cult of the Dark Strand. I've never heard of this group before. Having no knowledge of their history, it is all but impossible to say what their plans must be. There is no more time to delay. Warning must be delivered to Delgrin immediately. My master, Delgrin the Purifier, is a paladin who has graciously offered his assistance in defending our forests from the forces of the demons and undead. He has taught me much about the holy light and the art of battle. Delgrin must know of the cult's operations immediately. You will find him far south of here at Maestra's post in Ashenvale Forest. Be swift. I fear the Darkstrand's threat grows with each passing hour. Okay, we gotta kill crabs now. I remember these crabs also chunk you a lot, by the way. Dude, level 20. Okay. Are we just dead? <gasps> oh, dude, what the fuck? I can't fight this. Bro, I can't fight this. Focus just reef crawlers. We just used our last potion, by the way. Okay, Reef Crawler is a lot easier. It's also level 17. Where are we, where are we gonna get potions, bro? Level 15? <sighs> it's like I'm sitting here, th like, thinking, like, I'm, I'm regretting this challenge, but, like, 
even even if I didn't do this challenge we could still not go dungeon we're still too low level anyway so like these guys are just like spanking me bro I don't know what ability that is, but it's like it's 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 taking a chunk out of our HP. see the debuff. What is that? Strength reduced by 17. Goodness, this challenge is tough. Let's ignore the level 17s. Sixteen. <laughs> How hard is this quest going to be, dude? Or going all the way to sixty? How hard is that going to be? If we're crying already. Also, we have we have parry chance, dude. I don't I don't know how often we parry. It should show here some somewhere. Parry chance six point eight percent, almost seven percent parry chance.
This is gonna be a challenge. <laughs> to stay alive all the way to 60, how how are we gonna do that? Thank goodness, level 15. Look how huge the difference is, dude. One level difference. We barely lost any HP. his own data. Level 17. Level 15. I honestly don't know how we're this week. It is ridiculous. I am honored. It is interesting that the Murlocs were not present at this site. We will keep this in mind as we study this creature's remains. Thank you for your effort, adventurer. The Temple of the Moon would like for me to give you this as compensation for your time. Wow! These fine crab chunks are what I need. Thanks, adventurer. I found this while I was fishing a while ago, and I have no use for it. Maybe you can do something with it. It sure don't make any good crab dishes. I told you all about crabs, right? We got a treat. But what is that treat? There. Oh my goodness. Well, it would seem that even though we know more about this crystal, more unanswered questions are the result. I'll take the information you've uncovered to the Council here in Aberdeen. Perhaps they'll know a course of action to follow on this crystal. Well, that is if there is one to be taken, for now the threat remains far enough to our east to be out of harm's way. As for you, please have this. Consider it a reward for a job well done, adventurer. Okay, we got a pretty slow main hand, but it's not that great because we have a slow offhand also.
But do we want... Yeah, 7.2. Yeah, we want it. What can I get for you today? See you soon. <laughs> Wearing a paper face of an orc. You don't get really anything, do you? No. You can vendor it for one copper. Uh, you'll need fifty cooking uh, for the for this quest. Okay. Well, I have. What the fuck, bro? Thank you. I sprint all the way in here just to read its cooking. Okay, we're leaving this area now. Dude. I'm sitting here sweating, like I'm not even kidding. It feels like we just got absolutely destroyed. Like two of them in a row, dude. Oh, we're gonna miss the boat. Maximum wait time, baby. Level your first aid and cooking while you wait for the boat. Well, I leveled my first aid while I was fighting that. Cooking, on the other hand. I mean, I can't make a fireplace. This was just super hard. Oof. Okay, catch you guys when the boat's here. Cool, boat's here. Okay, we got to sprint up. We're going to check if we're going to buy some pots. Level 22. So I guess we'll quest here soon. My goods are the oh, my goodness. Good luck. I don't know if we're going to get small bots again. If we do, I'll just add it there. Hey there. This guy's not selling potions. Oh, bronze tube. This is a limited supply item. Safe travels. Why will we need it though? Item is used in the guide and in Dusk with Red Ridge. You need something? Dude. For the alliance. We are potioned up again, dude. I thought we're in trouble. Nah, son. We're fine. 
Need help? Where would you like to fly to? I don't know. Where the guy tells me to. Train your class spells. I don't think we can because we already did. Uh, gouge two. We can train that. Oh, you're level 18. So we can get gouge two then. That's all. Backstab rank three. Crippling poison. Codes the weapon with poison that lasts 30 minutes. Each strike has 30% chance poison the enemy, slowing their movement speed by 50% for 12 seconds. Then we have Rapture, a finishing move that uh, that causes damage over time, increasing your attack power. So I guess we will Rapture. We won't send us a strike then. Uh, we will two combo point uh, use slice and dice. Two combo point use rapture, right? Because it increases our attack power. Stealth level two. Reduces movement speed by 40%. What is it now? 50%. Yeah, once we once we get um stun where are we going train your class spells okay once we get stun i think it's a 32 i checked kidney shot there it is no it's not that one It's not kidney shot, it's the other one. Cheap shot. So at 26, there we go. At 26, we're gonna start going invers. Great, um, can't help you, adventurer. I only train rogues. So there we were. About to start plotting out phase three when a couple of Magni's blockheads come barging in here talking about some kind of heist and arresting some of the hidden circle. Well, nobody puts the iron on old Blackbeard. The argumentations got heavy and thick and somehow your name was blurted out. Me advice, take the first griffin out of Ironforge and get to Stormwind. Get yourself to Old Town and once there, talk to an old friend of mine named Renzik the Shiv. Keep your feet on the ground. Um, we got a new rogue quest again. Travel to Stormwind. How about this one? Both is at Stormwind. Fly to Lakmadan. So we have quite a few Stormwind quests now. Do, 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 do. What's on your... The Wildhammer Dwarves might have fast steeds, but can those airy peak griffins stand the heat of the Great Forge? I think not. Rapture. Yeah, I think this is the way to go, dude. We got stealth two, rapture. Like I, I honestly think eviscerate is decent, but I don't think it's the best that we could do. So I think it's two combo point um, slice and dice. Two combo point rapture. And I think then we'll two combo point slice and dice, like rinse and repeat. Uh, let's ask in the guild.
think we're gonna go all the way here now to quest, I think. Love you, baby. You would rapture 90% of- uh, sorry, you would eviscerate 90% of the times. Level 56 druid, dude. Prospector Ironband is heading an excavation of ancient ruins east of the lake. His progress has been slow lately, especially considering all the supplies we've sent him. Ironband's a stout, honest dwarf who values results, which has me worried that forces are at work against him. Go to Ironband's excavation and speak with Magmar Felhew. He manages the details of the site and will know why there's a slowdown. To get to the excavation site, go around the southern tip of the lake, then head east. You gotta take in consideration that Eviscerate will crit. Ah, oh, okay. I see what they're saying. Tunnel rat. Got my attention. See you soon. Thank the stars, someone is concerned about the well being of the dam. First, the destruction of the Thandol span, and then the pillaging of Don Modder. I have no doubt that the dam will be the target of the next Dark Iron threat. Most of the security detail here was reassigned to the Alliance front, including my top inspector. That's why I need you, adventurer. I spotted some Dark Iron sappers milling about the eastern ramp of the dam. Investigate the area and bring back a clue. So there's two enemies here. Last time me and a hunter killed it. Like he killed one, I killed the other one. Two level 17s. Uh, so what we can do... Is sap the one. He explodes himself. Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button.
How do you have to be behind target? Discovery to say the least. If my yeah. suspicions are correct, this is some type of explosive powder. This must be analyzed by an explosives expert so we know just what we're dealing with here. Ashland Stone's Merc was assigned to the regiment guarding Dun Mordor and the Thandol Span. I need you to make a grave and perilous journey, adventurer. Travel through the Algas Gate, follow the road through the wetlands, and seek out Stone's Merc in Dun Mordor. Heed my advice stick to the roads and stop for nothing. We're gonna kill a bunch of crocodiles soon. I also didn't know that sap takes you out of invis. I have a macro. This guy is taming a boar. Don't mind me skinning everything, dude. Level 13. Yeah, I thought this stuff will be a higher level. If you're sub hemo spec, it's quite alright. Because uh, you could get 3 CP and it costs 40 energy instead of 60. When Hemo is cheaper than Sinister Strike, you can actually get four, C, uh, four or five CP in the cheap shot stun. I won't use cheap shot though. Wrong button again, dude.
think you can match wits with Daryl the Bold, huh? I should think not. Of course, you're more than welcome to try. Here's a challenge that should prove to be above your abilities, so don't feel too bad if you can't face up to it. A flock of buzzards has nested here in Loch Modan. Why don't you try to take down some of the beasts? Tell you what, if you meet my challenge in 15 minutes, I'll give you my bow or gun. It seems you haven't much to lose anyways. Many a hunter is attracted to Loch Modan to hunt our famous crocs. There are always merchants who seek out crocodisk skins for clothing items or armor, and there are also some who enjoy the taste of their meat. We do some trade in this, but not a huge amount, as the crocolisks are ferocious and have entrenched themselves on the islands in the north. But don't let me dissuade you. It's quite an experience, wrestling with the jaws of the beasts. Why this one time? Vanish is not cure, save all anyway. I'm going to kill six of these birds. saying like uh for me the strongest thing might be to just four get four combo points and then eviscerate like i'm still level one instead of using slice and dice Like if I'm gonna spend four combo points anyway to kill an uh, to kill an enemy. Which does make sense. Okay, now we can choose between a gun and a bow. I hope we can get agility either way. Because I think I did train bows, right? We haven't trained guns yet. Whatever gives agility, I'll take it. If it doesn't give agility, then I'm going to just keep uh, the throwing weapons for now. What success? Take it from me, Adventurer Rama. You don't let it get to your head. I mean, any unshaven boy with a bow could have killed such small specimens. And I hope you don't enjoy killing the buzzards so much, yes? We wouldn't want them to become extinct. Well, er... Uh, never let it be said that Daryl the Bold would not hold to his word. Adventurer Wrath, is it? I can tell you're bursting with pride over completing the first test, HM. As I told you before, it's no large feat. You should try your hand at boar hunting. Trust me, this is no Coldridge Valley boar hunt, so you'd best have a care with them. I'll give you just 12 minutes this time. Don't feel bad if you fail. I'd give you the shirt off my back if you succeeded. Have I ever related to you the story of how I received my famous scar? No, it was two years ago. <laughs> you died level 59 because of fatigue. Thank you. 
dude, our first time seeing a triple crit, a triple number. And then it's 180 ish. Yeah, it's just better to to just spam eviscerate it seems. What? Why are we failing to, to to skin it? Still have 8 minutes left. Why are we failing, dude? Excuse me. <gasps> oh, I know why. Oh no, please don't tell me. We didn't train skinning. Dude, where is the boars, man? That really sucks. I didn't train skinning. How did I... <sighs> Come on, man. So now my leather working is higher than my skinning. But yeah, it's so much better to... 4 combo point eviscerate at the moment. And not me. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I mean, what he's saying is true. You seem a bit worse for wear. No doubt the boars gave you some trouble, HM. Ooh, dude. No worries. I will be discreet about your struggle. I can imagine how hard it must be for you without the accusations of wagging tongues. Oh, you managed to kill the boars. Uh, well, that is... That is to say, I'm not surprised. Any child could have bet what bet. Or it has to be this. So we have four agility now from our weapons. into the lock wasn't bad enough, trogs from the nearby island attacked me and stole my tools and special Blastenheimer Blasten Capper explosives. With no gyrocopter and no explosives, the movement has no chance. Get my tools back and find my Blasten Capper explosives adventurer for no Marigan! Oh no. So it begins. Rogue is all about maximizing our resources, I know. Dude. Now it feels like we're playing in easy mode again. It's because they're low level. What level of requirement is this? 15. The guy didn't say we should get it. I think I pulled two. They're not pulling each other, okay.
Come here, buddy. But you never really had a doubt I don't believe that anybody Feels the way I do So what you know Yeah this is just way better Slice and dice is a waste it Seems like to be a meme dude I think slice and dice might be more worth when you have poison damage. You know, even not using Eviscerate. Just spamming our Sinister Strike is still worth. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, this uh, crocolus meat is gonna take a while to get. The real challenge would be like once we fight stuff our level again. Which I think will happen soon once we go here. Which is directly after this quest. But for you guys it will be the next video. Also I think.
Getting so much leather again, dude. Almost at 40 leather again. Imagine someone tells you, hey, go hunt a crocodile for their meat. But then you have to kill like 50 just to get four meats. Hmm? Imagine. Well, that's wild for you, dude. In a nutshell, literally. Let's see, we're not going to do this quest. So, Bingle's missing supplies. With a 22 rare. Oh my god. Avoid, bro. A level 22 rare. It's four levels higher than us. That's a rare, dude. I hope he knows it. He's gonna go for it, dude. No, he's not. Absolute mad lad if he considers even trying. He's level 17. It would just, like, resist everything. He casts at him. It's a five level difference, bro. For me, he's orange, but for him it should be red. If I'm not mistaken. Did I also end in my previous episode here that we did with the hunter? I wonder if... If we're like... Leveling up as... Equally as fast, let's just say that. How are ya? I'm okay, I'm surviving. I think. <laughs> Uh, item used in guide. Red Ridge 90 to 20. We'll get it then. Okay, I think that's the inventory cleared out. I think. Watch your back. Cool, guys. We're going to actually end it here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.